All right, next thing we're going to be doing is a full decontamination of the bodywork. So we're going to start off by snow foaming the car. We're going to go around it with a little brush. We're going to agitate all around the window seals, the badges, all of that sort of stuff. I'm going to try and get it as clean as we can. Right, now that's done, we're gonna go around with a small brush. Again, I've got a couple of uh, brushes here, just some cheap detailing brushes, and this is a slightly st stiffer brush. We're gonna agitate all the little nooks and crannies. We're gonna leave this stuff about 15 minutes just to kind of soak into the dirt and grime on the car, um, and then we'll give it a wash. So these little bits down here, again, you can just see with this brush, fairly soft on the seal, it's not gonna damage anything. Okay, just look at all the green and muck coming out by doing that. So I'm going to give that... Now, I'm not particularly worried about putting some light scratches into the paintwork because we're going to be claying the car anyway and then we're going to be machine polishing it. So that's going to create in itself quite a bit of damage on the car and the paint as light swirls and so on. That already, you can just see the amount of dirt coming out of that. So we'll just give that a really good... Agitate with the brush. I might need to do a couple of goes at this, to be perfectly honest. That's already better. And all around things like the door handles. Just agitate all of that. And I'll just make sure that everything's clean. So, what do we have here? We've got wing mirror. So, already, look at all that dirt coming out. That's the great thing about this snow foam is that just lift all the dirt straight down the car. Then we'll just go around with that softer brush. So again on the back, things like the logos. Give those are a really good clean with a brush. This is green coming out of those. The Vauxhall badge. So having gone around the entire car with a set of brushes and really just scrubbed all the horrible areas, I'm now just giving it a thorough rinse with the pressure washer as you can see here in this time lapse and just really removing all of that uh, disgusting grot. Right now we've um, pressure cleaned the car and we've snow foamed it, we've got a lot of the dirt out and it just gives us a chance to take a proper look at the paintwork and what I can see already, even though the car's still wet, I'm not sure the camera's picking that up, in, picking that up. It's a tremendous amount of tar spots. Um, so again, they will all come out with some like a tar remover or, or clay. I'm gonna be using clay. Um, I'm just gonna go straight in with that. But it's already looking a hell of a lot better than it was. So I think what we're gonna do now is we're gonna hit the wheels. We're gonna hit the wheels with the iron fallout remover. Because so I'm using Built Hamber Wheel Cleaner here, which is a fantastic product, just giving the wheels a good scrub. So I'm going over the car here with a um, mixture of Surfax HD and Snow Foam, just using a, a wash mitt to, to really agitate that onto the paintwork. The paintwork really is very, very rough, um, so I'm giving it a good scrub, and I actually go over it a couple of times here, which isn't actually showed on this video, uh, but I'm getting into all of the uh, the wheel arches, the underside, the door shuts, the, the boot shuts, uh, and under the bonnet, so uh, we really are getting the car much, much cleaner. The car is clean, at least, but what it does highlight is just how rough this paintwork is. So again, if we just run down it, now it's dry, you can see 
it's peppered with tar, various other, we know about the marks of course, marks and just grime, but it feels, the paint just feels really horrible, you can hear that. So definitely needs clay barring, which we know is gonna introduce a whole load of marring to the paint, but it doesn't really matter because we're gonna machine polish it. But either way, it does look a lot better now it has dried. And certainly once that back bumper's done, it's gonna look even better still. And I think what we'll do is we'll use an old piece of clay and we'll do the wheels as well. And I've got a bit of touching in to do on the wheels, but uh, I think this is gonna look really nice when it's done. Now the clay I'm using is, a, again, it's another Built Hamber product. The, the Built Hamber, of course, don't sponsor this, sponsor this channel. Um, but what I love about this is you can just literally use the hose, use the hose, use water as the lubricant, and just run it across the car. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. So here I'm just using the clay bar along with the hose on a very low pressure, keeping the paintwork as wet as I can to try and avoid some marring occurring on the paintwork. And I go over the whole car and I've actually gone over the car twice because of the, uh, the amount of pollution that there was on the, uh, on the clay bar. So time for some machine polishing. One of the favorite parts uh, for me of always getting a car ready is the machine polishing part of it. This is really the easiest thing you can ever do. So I have again, my trusty, but very cheap dual action polisher, which was a, I think a 45 or 50 pound eBay purchase. <clears throat> I have some Menzerna um, heavy cut compound. And all I'm going to do is put a few dollops of that. I'd say probably like a pea size amount randomly on the pad. I'm going to make sure the pad is turned right down in terms of its speed, we to two. I'm then just going to dab that on the car. As you can see, the car has of course been cleaned. And then we're going to put it on a low speed <clears throat> to spread the polish around. Okay, so that's all the polish spread around the bonnet. So now we're gonna turn the speed right to maximum and we're gonna do probably five or six passes with this and then we'll see what it looks like compared with the other side, which of course I've done with the masking tape. Okay, let's take a look. So you can't see so much in this light. But that's the first cut of that bodywork. So what we're going to do, because it, it is really in quite a bad condition, this paintwork, I doubt it's ever been machine polished or if it has, it hasn't been done for many, many years. <clears throat> the car is of course 11 years old. So what we're going to do is we're going to get another pad, which is a little bit softer. This particular pad is a yellow pad which is really hard. Harder the pad, the deeper the cutting action. We get a slightly softer pad, and I'm also going to get a slightly different polish, um, which is a little bit finer, and that should give us an even deeper shine and get, make the paint pop as well. The other added benefit is that we'll see all the paint, so we won't need to do any waxing. So we've just put a blue pad on here. We're going to switch our polish to a slightly less abrasive polish, a one-step polish. 
uh, which is a three in one. So this will cut, it will gloss and wax. So this should give us a really good finish on the paintwork. So exactly the same, a few pin sized, pin, pea sized blobs, as you can see here. Um, we're just gonna turn the speed right down. We're gonna dabble over the paintwork and exactly as we did before, you can feel this pad is softer already. So let's just turn this on. Okay, so, and already I can feel that paintwork is so much nicer. If I just perhaps show you with the microphone, if I put the microphone across here, I can feel whereas, yeah, that's coming out on the sound, but it makes a huge difference because that's despite being clayed and treated, the paint of course is just not in very good condition because the car has been neglected for many years. So we're just breathing some life back into that paintwork. And again, when I sell this car, gleaming red paintwork will really help sell it. So let's see how it's come out. So the light level isn't great here. What we're gonna do, however, is pull this off and we really should see, and you can just about catch it here. And this is low light. You can see a really well-defined line where the car has been polished and where it hasn't. If I just wipe that over to get any residual, you can see almost a step in the paint. So we're now gonna do the rest of that bonnet, but, it shows it a little bit better there. What a difference. So we're gonna do that. We're of course gonna go over the whole car using the same process. So my plan is to go over with the more aggressive compound and the yellow pad, do the whole car with that. Um, we'll buff it all off. I'm gonna go over again with the blue pad and the slightly less aggressive polish, which also seals and the whole car should look really good when it's done. Okay, so the next job is gonna be a thorough vacuum of everything in here which i'm not going to film because it's not going to be particularly exciting we're just going to get all the worst of the debris and muck out and uh, get it ready for um it's wet clean i wasn't really planning to do this today but i have just vacuumed it out and it does look a hell of a lot better but a temptation just to get the wet back on those seats and just give them an initial pass is too much so that's exactly what i'm going to do Okay, so that's the driver's seat done. And I think again, if you compare that with the passenger seat, quite a considerable difference. And that's two passes with the, uh, with the wet vac. And in case anybody wonders what I'm using, I'll show you. I'm using 
built Hamber Surfax HD at a ratio of about 5%. And I find that works incredibly well for pretty much most cleaning jobs on a car. So again, just from this side. So I'm gonna do the passenger seat and I'll do a little bit more this evening. I'm not doing the whole car today, um, but uh, I think we'll just try and get it a little bit nicer since I am gonna be driving it about, taking it to places. So I'm not getting covered in uh, other people's dirt. So that's the wet clean complete on both the driver and passenger seat and the carpet. So I'm now moving on to the dashboard. And again, I'm just using Built Hamber Surfax HD, 5%. And I'm gonna use a little detailing brush and get it all to just all nooks and crannies. And just give the whole dash we're going over. Now I should stress this is not a detailing channel and I'm sure there's going to be people telling me there's better but ways of doing it or better products but this is just the way I do it. So if there are other ways please do tell me, put it in the comments. Um, I'm going to get this done and I'll show you the end result. Right, so we have finally got this car to a level where I think we've knocked many years off it. So for an 11 year old car, I think this is now looking really good, really respectable, and it's certainly to a point now where it can be sold. So uh, it's just the MOT. Let's hopefully, uh, well, let's hope that that doesn't bring up any horror stories, um, but please uh, come back and watch the, the next video. And I think in the next video, which I'm hoping will be the last on this, uh, on this Vauxhall course, the last in the series will be us getting the car through its MOT, fingers crossed, alongside um, uh, getting it up for sale. And I'll also go through the costs and what I'm hoping to sell the car for. So margins are going to be quite tight on this. It has been a lot more work, to be honest, than I thought it was going to be. But I think we've still got an opportunity to make some money. So uh, let's see. So please join me in the next video. Uh, in the meantime, as always, please like, please subscribe, please share. And I'll see you again in the next video.